Hello, good evening everybody. Happy New Year. It is a brand new year, 2020. And I'm excited to be um, doing my first video of the year, 2020. I, it is, today is the 12th of um, January, 2020. And it is about 20 minutes to eight. And I'm just getting ready to do two short videos with you. And uh, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and the New Year celebration. Lots of food to eat. And I hope you haven't gotten fat as a result of that. Well, I'm trying to lose some of my own weight. And I, I'm looking forward to how I'm going to be within the next couple of months. Anyway, this today we're doing two short videos. And I've got my daughter here to do whatever it is she can do with me. Before she goes to bed in a short time from now. Say hello. Good evening everyone. My name is Chloe. Anyways, um, this is Olua Kemi Osega as usual, and I'm going to be showing you two things, how I do two of my things. One of them is how I prepare my smoked macro fish. This is a fresh macro fish. I've just defrosted it, and I'm going to show you how I prepare it smoked. Before, I used to buy the smoked one from a Nigerian restaurant, but... Um, uh, one day I decided to do it myself and so and ever since I haven't um, turned back since then so what I do is that I buy fresh macro fish this one I just brought it out I mean I brought it earlier today to defrost so and then I prepare it myself and it tastes really amazing it's more most more, uh, more cost-effective you prepare the way you want to prepare it and you're certain that whatever it is you're preparing is what you're gonna eat so you're not eating any a, 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 any external set, um, um, stuff in it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I prepare it. I've got my one of my macro fishes on the tray. I've got a flat tray so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut out all the things using my scissors, my kitchen scissors. I don't like things in my fish. So I cut everything completely out. Anywhere I can hold and cut. I cut snippets, I snip them away. And then, um, I think this, and then uh, cut to the back. There's, there are usually some tiny, tiny things at the back. I get rid of it. I don't like it, so I get rid of it. Anyway, that's my, my crab. And then I remove the guts. You can see in there, I'm gonna cut across that bit. I'm going to cut across that bit. Yes. And then open the head. Remove the fins or whatever I did, the gills. Sorry. Remove the gills. All of the guts and the old gills. Yes. Then, in addition, I remove the guts. Remove everything from there. Oops, I've got a lot of blood on my kitchen top. So remove all of that, all of that. I'm going to do that for the rest, for the remainder of the fishes. What I've just done, I've got about four macro fishes in my bowl. So I'm going to do that for all of them. So I have not cleaned out all the fishes, so um, my fish, they're all not clean and it should look like this. Inside should look as clean as that. So I'm now going to show you what I do before I, um, next, what I do next. Make sure as much water is drained off as much as possible. For me, I am now going to uh, use my kitchen towel, come in handy as always. To just pat inside to get some ex as much as possible get excess water out of my poor macro fishes. All macro fishes. So Get them out as much water as possible. 
And then there's only one thing I'm going to apply to this sweet before I place it in the oven. And that's salt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle salt, cooking salt, all over my microfish, rub it, all over my microfish, right? That's the only seasoning my microfish is going to have. Rub it all over and inside. And now I'm going to get at my um, my uh, kitchen foil. That is what I'm going to use to do the next bit. I'm going to put it over my oven rack. This is my oven rack. So I'm putting this over my oven rack. protect my wrap from uh, all the things, all the fat from the fishes. So my oven rack and I'm placing my fishes in on the rack. And that's it. So I have preheated my oven to gas mac six. So I'm gonna place it in the oven now. I'm not gonna cover it. It's gonna be in this stage, right? I'm gonna place it in my oven. My oven is currently on a gas mac six. I'm not sure how much that is in degree centigrade. But with gas mac six, you can Google. And check the equ uh, the equivalent of gas mass six in uh, as, um, centigrade, and I'm going to place it in the oven at least for initially for about thirty minutes. After thirty minutes, I'll check it, and then turn it around, right? And then turn it around, and um, I'll show you when that um, happens. See you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. I've, the fish have been in there, the macro fishes have been in there for about 45 minutes now. So I'm going to turn it around, what it looks like at the moment. It's not smoked yet, but I'm going to turn it around. Um, be gentle so that you don't rip your fish. So you see the back is still very, very fresh. I love Nathan Ebasi. I'm actually playing his song from YouTube. And this is one of the traps playing Emmanuel. So I'm going to put it back again now in the oven to, to grill for further 45 minutes and then I'll show you again when, um, how it looks when it comes out. Hello again, welcome back. Um, I'm now going to check my uh, fish. I'm going to bring it out of the oven now. It's been in the oven now for about two hours. So I'm going to take it out now. Again, it's hot, hot, hot. There's uh, oil in there, so I'm going to drain it that in the oven. I mean, into the sink. Yes, my macro, my smoked macro finish, I mean, fishies are ready, very, very ready. 
It's all smocked. Let me turn the camera so you can see it properly. Um, it is smocked. You can see it is ready to be used. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put these, some of them in the um, in the freezer when I need them. And the other one that I need, I'm preparing for uh, Eporu, that's for you to go finish stew. Um, if I'm able to do it tonight, I'll do it tonight. Otherwise, I'll do it tomorrow after work. When I return from work. Well, I'm going to use two of them for that tomorrow. So this is my, this is how I prepare my smoked um, macro fish. I no longer buy smoked macro fish from Nigerian food stores anymore. Because I think they sell this about £3 or £3.50. Per, per piece and obviously um, because you didn't prepare it at least if you prepared it you know how you prepared it and it is to your taste all you need to do is just buy fresh macro fish and season it with salt remove the goats remove everything inside and season it with salt and then grill it to as much as uh, 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 however I mean to the standard of dryness you want it to be mine is just perfect as it is and then um, it's suitable for my need um, I hope you love this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you think that, uh, if you have a different process by which you prepare your smoked macro fish, I would love to read that. I would love to hear it. So please make, uh, please comment on, on 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 any alternative process that you have that uh, you undertake to um, to uh, smoke your macro fish. This is how I smoke mine, and so far so good. It's been. Um, um, all right for me. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night. Have a good night rest and uh, Have a wonderful week ahead tomorrow starting working with working week starts tomorrow Best wishes for the week. Thank you for watching and um, take care. Bye. God bless you